morning, boys and girls. How are you on this Monday morning? Are you good? I'm happy to see you. I know I'm good. I'm ready to start another week of learning with you, okay? Hey, can you find in your packets the sheet that looks like this? Remember, it's usually our, our dabber day, right? But you have a sheet that looks like this. It has K, uppercase K and lowercase K, and then you have some stickers. Now, you might have dot stickers, or you might have other little stickers that say different phrases on them. You have circle stickers. Everybody has circle stickers. Stickers. It's hard to say. So, find your sheet that looks like this and your stickers, okay? And we're going to go ahead and build our letter Ks. Now, remember last week I told you I love letter K because that's what my name starts with, right? So, I will be your resident expert on letter K. I'm just going to move this here. Maybe move it back a little bit. Sorry, am I making you seasick? There we go. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to take my stickers and I'm going to build my K. Now K has uppercase K and lowercase K are very similar. Okay. It's a straight line down. So I'm going to make a straight line down. And again, remember, peeling off stickers is really good to strengthen our fingers. It helps us to become better cutters and better writers, better drawers. Okay, so it's a straight line down. Whoops. And then it's a diagonal line back at the top. So you go back up to the top and you make a diagonal line in towards your straight line and then a diagonal line out away from your straight line. K, 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 K. Now K kind of sounds like C sometimes, K, K, right? So that's our uppercase K, straight line down, diagonal line in, diagonal line out, okay? And lowercase k is just very similar. It's just the diagonal line that goes back in is just a little bit shorter. Okay, it's just a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna make my straight line down of my lowercase k. Straight line down. I can't believe we are already on k week. Wow, wait, this year is flying by, don't you think? Okay, my lowercase k is almost done. I made my diagonal line in, and now I'm gonna make my diagonal line back out. So I'm gonna trace my finger on it now. Straight line down, little diagonal line in, little diagonal line out. So I have our uppercase k and our lowercase k. Now remember, if you need a little bit more time to peel off your stickers, or what if you don't have enough stickers, what else could you do? Like if you ran out of stickers, could you take a marker and color in the circles? Absolutely you could. Or maybe you have a dabber at home. I know they sell the da dabbers at the dollar store. I think you can get them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So maybe you have one at home. You could dab this too. You don't have to do the stickers. It's up to you. The stickers is just one way. That's the way I'm doing it. And you can do it that way too, or you can do it a different way. Okay, so that's our morning work for today. All right, now we forgot to do something. What did we forget to do? Write our name at the top. Okay, I want you to write your name with, with a pencil. I'm gonna write it with a marker because it'll be hard for you to see a pencil on my white sheet on the camera here. So I wrote my name at the top, Mrs. Griffin. Okay, I want you to write your name. If you know how to write your last name, I would like for you to write your last name too, okay? So write your name at the top so we know whose paper it is. Okay, and that's done for today. So again, if you're not done yet and you need to hit the pause button, push push the pause button and get caught back up and meet me back here when you're ready, okay? I'm gonna keep moving forward. So if you need to, you pause it, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is our counting activity here for our sensory work today, okay? So this sheet, it also has an M at the top. It's from Monday, it's Monday's work. And it has little pictures of different Christmas characters and items. And we are going to count them and then circle the number that matches the appropriate number of items. 
Okay, so can you get this out in a pencil as well? If you're ready to go, if you have this out in a pencil, then I want you to write your name at the top. There's a little line that says name and then there's a line after it. It's not a very big line, so I'd like you to try to write your name so that it fits on that line. That might mean that you need to make your name a little bit smaller than you normally do. And that's okay, that's good practice for us, okay? So I'm gonna move this morning work so that it, we don't get distracted by it. And I'm gonna put my name at the top. And I'm gonna write it small because the line is small. I wanna try to keep it on the line. Now I know some of you have really long names. So sometimes it's hard to fit it on the line, but I want you to try, okay? Try to write your name. Okay, so do you have your sheet? Do you have your name at the top? Okay, let's see if I can move this a little bit closer so you can see it a little bit better. And it's kind of like a puzzle here. There we go. Okay, so the first picture, group of pictures, I should say, it has little gingerbread men. Do you see that? Can you point to the gingerbread men? Okay, now we're going to count how many gingerbread men are there. Okay. Did you count the gingerbread men? How many did you count? One, two, three, four, five. Did you count five? I did too, good job. Okay, so now we need to look at the numbers listed below and circle the number five. Okay, so I know it says one, two, three, four, five. So which one am I gonna circle? I'm gonna circle the five, okay? Did you circle it too? Okay, now we're gonna move on to the Santas. How many Santa pictures do we see here? Can you count them? Shout it out when you know what it is. How many did you count? Did you say three? One, two, three. Very good, can you find the three below? The three looks like half of a snowman, kind of. Here's one, here's two, Here's three, so I'm gonna circle it. Okay, now we're gonna look at the Christmas wreaths. Do you see the wreaths? Okay, we're gonna count the wreaths, and I want you to count them. Some of you might know it just like that from our sublimation videos, right? Or su or not, I say it wrong all the time. Subitizing videos. One, two, three, four. There's four wreaths there, right? All right. Can we find the number four below? Which one says four, do you know? This one says one, this one says two, this one says three. Oh, here's the number four. Okay, now we're gonna look at the sleds, or the sleigh, so it looks like Santa's sleigh, right? How many are there? I bet you knew, it's two. We're gonna circle the number two. Okay, now, ooh, presents. Everybody likes to see presents under their tree, right? Let's count them. How many are there? Did you say five? One, two, three, four, five. Very good. And I'm gonna circle the number five. Some of you might be ready to start writing the number. So if you know you can write the number five, then go ahead and write it right next to it too. You can practice writing it as well. Some of you are ready for that. Some of you aren't, so just circling it is just fine. You know what your limit is. All right, now we've got some stockings here. Okay, I hope they weren't on someone's stinky foot. I don't know. How many are there? Did you count them? Did you say three? You're right, it's three. Again, you can circle it and you can try to write a three by it if you want. Some of you are ready to do that. All right, oh, I see only one thing here. What is it? It's a Christmas tree. So I'm gonna circle one because there's just one Christmas tree there. And the last thing are candy canes. Can we count them? How many did you get? One, two, three, four. Did you get four as well? Very good, okay, and then I'm gonna circle the number four. Some of you might be ready to write the number four next to it too. You can do that if you feel like you're ready for it, okay? 
Good job. Look at all that counting we did. Wow. Okay. I think you should get up and take a little break here before you join me back at circle time. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit.